Oh, hi. Uh, today I'm gonna talk about interactive multi-character motion retract method. The realistic character animation is important in 3D products and motion capture systems are widely used by many visual effects and game companies to obtain realistic motion. The current state of art motion capture systems are sufficiently accurate in recording human motion. However, the body size and proportions of actors are generally different from those of target characters. Therefore, a motion retargeting process is highly required. However, motion retargeting is not easy as the character body is generally composed of many bones and has hundreds of degrees of freedom. Even for the situation using the uh, commercial software, it requires a repetitive task to obtain the desired animation without losing the characteristics of the original motion during motion retargeting process. To address this issue, um, handy motion retarding systems have been extensively studied for many decades. Glacier uh, proposed an approach for adapting, adapting uh, human motion to create characters with different body proportions and formulate, formulate this problem as a constraint optimization with space-time constraints. And on online motion retarding approach have uh, based on Per frame IK was introduced, uh, but however, uh, such nonlinear optimization based motion retarding methods are likely to be slowed when the number of characters to be retargeted increases. Uh, recently, deep learning based motion retargeting method have been reported and utilized um, large scale captured motion data to train the neural networks. Uh, these approaches produce uh, uh, natural retarded character animation. However, uh, achieving a non-human non motion retarding is difficult as it requires the large amount of uh, training data obtained by motion capture over manual character modeling editing process. And motion retarding is normally performed for each character independently. As a result, the original spatial relationship between the characters and or environment could be easily broken during this uh, retracting process. Also, the collisions between characters be between characters um, may take place. In this case, time-consuming uh, manual adjustments by animators users are required until um, obtaining satisfactory result. Um, there are few uh, previous works for two-character motion retargeting with preserving spatial relations between characters. Um, our, our method allows a greater flexibility of multi-character motion retargeting compared to uh, previous works. So we present a novel um, multi-character multi motion retargeting method that preserves various types of spatial relationships between characters and environments. A substantial uh, performance gain is obtained during the, uh, the retargeting process. Interactive motion editing interface that uh, provides immediate feedback to the user uh, when, trying to, when trying to resolve an intended collision between characters after motion retargeting. And the proposed motion retargeting method can be applied to various types of motions. And moreover, the method we propose uh, retargets non-human characters with complex joint configurations like spider, wolf, or um, others um, by preserving the semantics of original motion and constraints. 
So those are achieved based on a new graph structure with fewer connections and linear constraint formulation. Um, we generate a pose graph for an individual character and the motion retargeting is performed based on the novel two-step um, optimization scheme. So the and the post graph transfer and post uh, graph deformation are performed sequentially. And in the first automation step, we perform uh, motion retargeting based on the idea of mesh deformation transfer for individual characters, individual character, and the resulting animation maintains the original motion of the character. Um, in the second optimization step, we apply various constraints identified from the source motions to the immediate result obtained from the first optimization. The space-time motion editing system is built with a cage-based interface that allows the user to manipulate multiple characters and and multiple characters and makes the edit process more efficient and intuitive. Um, the positional representation, positional, positional representation of character is computationally efficient because the deformation of 3D character can be formulated as a sparse linear system, whereas angular representation requires dense uh, Jacobian, pro, uh, man, uh, Jacobian matrices. So we define a def deformable graph uh, from the joint position to, for each character at each frame. Instead of defining a graph structure by connecting all multi character, um, a graph was created with each character. This approach is helpful for users to selectively and conveniently establish specific spatial relationships between characters and add delete the various constraints between non adjacent joints without breaking the original graph structure. The user can specify specify uh, absolute positions of joints at certain frame for editing a character plot for handling collisions. The equality constraints are used to enforce a fit to be in contact with the ground. Also, length constraints are used for retaining the original length of the links of the character. So, each character motion retargeting is formulated as a quadratic optimization problem performed at each uh, frame independently for better computational efficiency. Specifically, we sequential, sequentially solve the post graph transfer and as rigid as possible post de graph deformation. From the first optimization, the solution represents the intermediate motion that preserves the details of original motion. The solution of second optimization is obtained with preserving various constraints as much as possible. So the purpose of quadratic optimization problem is to preserve the details and local features of source graph geometry during the retarding process. Um, motivated by the work uh, Sumner and Popovich, uh, our retarding process can be defined as the minimization of errors from the source and target transformation. Um, to retain spatial relationship between characters, the editing of multiple characters is performed in an intuitive manner. Each iteration adjusts the intermediate result. We define the post-graph deformation energy term, uh, which is later uh, combined with other energy terms in first contact with uh, environment and original edge lengths. The deformed post-graphs are obtained by minimizing the equation uh, originates from the as, a, as a least as possible deformation. Um, after motion and retargeting, collision between characters can occur and those can be rectified using our uh, multi-character motion editing framework, um, space-time editing process. We provide the user with a 3-dimensional deformable cage mesh which includes, this, which includes um, a, 
or range of frames of joints of character motions. The cage mesh consists of a small set of vertices and it is deformed as an as it is as possible manner. Uh, in the cage mesh, a selected joint trajectories are used for usually defined constraints and manipulated coherently. Finally, a postgraph is locally edited while retaining the usually defined constraint. Our space-time motion editing method is technically based on hybrid deformation, which combines space deformation for the smooth manipulation of the joint points of the character mesh and the surface deformation for editing the cage mesh in an as least as possible manner. Um, in this video, uh, the size of all characters is exactly the same. They are doing squat several times. After applying our retard method to the original animation, we then obtain the result more quickly. The size of all characters are different as you can see in this video. Um, in this example, the information uh, characters are characters deliver uh, yellow boxes in a random manner. Um, the, our method interactively will retarget and edit multi character animation while maintaining a set of constraints, including spatial relationship between characters, and usually try to. Uh, manipulate the character pose using space-time editing uh, tools and then we can resolve all the collision in the animation and here is the final result This example shows uh, the proposed method has the ability to return to uh, complex shape characters efficiently, including uh, lions, something like that. Our system can retard the spider motion uh, with the complex joint structure. The green one is original motion, the red one is the retarget motion. And this um, this table shows that um, shows the shows the timing result for each character with different skeletal configurations configurations and our system outperforms um, numerical conventional uh, inversion based motion retargeting um, because our system sort of a sparse linear system. Um, Based on our experiments, our method is approximately one order order of manic manic magnitude faster than the previous approach. And so I have presented a new multi-character motion retracting editing method. 
uh, based on a linear mesh deformation framework. Uh, the resulting pulse graph from the editing is editing are smooth and accurate, and we achieve good computational efficiency and robustness compared to conventional uh, speed time optimization. And in addition, we experimentally shows that our cache based space time editing method provides a speed up due to per frame versus kinematic solutions given smooth trajectories of constraints. Um, a further speed up is easily possible because multi character spatial editing for multiple planes, frames can be executed in a parallel manner using multiple threads. Um, our framework provides um, useful space time mode signing tool for uh, handling collisions between characters. Um, for future work, we plan to support the physical based constraint. Uh, if the manipulated trajectory is largely different from the original trajectory, the edited motion is likely to no longer be physically plausible. The physical models such as the linear inverted pen pendulum model are possible extension and can be easily adapt to our data structure. And also we plan to uh, extend our collision avoidance uh, method and currently on automatic collision avoidance are always not incorporated into our motion return framework but uh, we can easily um, employ some automatic collision avoidance in the uh, field of crowd animation and hopefully um, we can or we could we can automatically avoid the collisions uh, between characters uh, in a faster manner thank you